veterans of this local option sales tax negotiation, but some of you are newcomers. I'd like to make a couple of comments, if I might, regarding this process and this procedure. Um, this is uh, the allocation of the lost proceeds is required by statute to be renegotiated every 10 years, two years following the census. And under the statute, the county is responsible to begin this procedure, thus this meeting um, this morning. The negotiation uh, process actually involves three steps or procedures. The first is a 60-day negotiating period which commences with this meeting. Failure, failure to reach an agreement at the end of that 60 days uh, precipitates the, a second 60 days of mediation or non-binding arbitration. At the end of that period, if that fails, then there is a superior court baseball arbitration. That is a common term, not necessarily a legal term, but the gist of that is that a uh, judge from outside this circuit would he uh, hold a hearing in which the cities and the counties where the cities and the uh, county would make a best and final offer and the judge would then choose one of the best and final offers. Um, and the current allocation does continue until the judge makes that new allocation. Uh, Paige has passed out a position of the county's facts, and I will not go over all of these, but um, I will hit some of those points. The lost statute requires that these proceeds be used to reduce property tax compared to what the tax would have been without the loss. And the statute also states that no agreement shall enrich any political subdivision beyond what would have been raised from other sources without the local option sales tax. Uh, the county's portion uh, reduces the property tax on all the properties, including those within the cities. Municipal area property owners receive two rollbacks, one from the county, one from the city. And the unincorporated area property owners receive one rollback, obviously, from the county. Um, the county service delivery responsibilities, um, we believe, benefit, benefit all the residents of the county. Most of the county's service delivery responsibilities are mandated by state law, all others are uh, required by the service delivery strategy. The county's service delivery responsibilities uh, include the funding of constitutional officers as well as the judges, district uh, attorney, and since our last negotiation, the addition of the public defender. There's also a list of those additional services there that I will not go into. Um, the allocation of the loss proceeds between the county and the city must be made according to the service delivery responsibilities of the county and the city. Uh, based on those responsibilities, the county's share uh, could and should be 72% because the county funds 72% of those uh, with property tax. Um, the county service delivery responsibilities has increased some 65% since our last negotiation from 24.5 to 40.5 million. Um, obviously, the increase in population uh, from the cities as well as unincorporated areas has resulted in some of that increase. The county's population has increased by 17,000 to a total of 109 in 10 years. Um, the population of the county is 64% of the total population uh, served uh, by 
types of cities. And you see that some of the larger cost areas that the county has referred are obviously through the sheriff, jail, courts, district attorney, tax commissioner, library, and the EMS. I've already mentioned the addition of the public defender. And I'd also like to point out there's two services that were agreed upon in the service delivery responsibility that are funded by the county, one being the Parks and Recreation Service, even though it is governed by an authority that is still funded through the county property tax, as is the industrial authority, which was previously funded by the hotel motel tax. Um, if you apply the, the law statutes, we believe that the county's proceeds should be 72 percent, but the chairman has made the statement as well as the commissioners that they believe that funding should remain the same as it currently stands. Chairman, do you have any other comments? My favorite is um, everybody's budget. I don't think anybody in here has got a lot of money in their budget. And there was a lot of money spent 10 years ago arguing over this. Actually, I guess I'll be the first one to start this course up. 